ஸ்ரீ குருபியோ நமக இந்த லாஸ்ட் செஷன் ஐ டோல் யூ ஐ ரெட் அவுட் டூ லைன்ஸ் ஐ டோல் யூ இட்ஸ் வெரி வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் ஸோ லெட்ஸ் செக் வாட் இட் இஸ் I crossed to oblivion and the curtain fell. So you can see in the previous paragraph, the author was saying that suddenly all his efforts ceased. He had a relaxed feeling and uh, there was a blackness in his brain and uh, no fear at all. and uh, it wiped out the terror no more panic suddenly he started to feel like floating along in space and some tender arms around him all these feelings he started to have so all these things will happen when we are going to lose our consciousness when we could not do anything almost to death okay so i crossed to oblivion oblivion is the state of uh, non existence which refers to death which refers to the state of death uh, so here the author says all these feelings came in his mind because he had crossed the oblivion crossed to oblivion almost he had reached the state of death which the oblivion the term says that which is uh, marking the state of death and the curtain of life fell that means if you go to a movie or if you are going to witness a play in a theater the before the starting the curtain will go up and once the movie or the play got over the curtains will fall which says that it is end so here he says he is comparing his life almost his life has come to the end the curtain of life fell so it is a literary device very nicely the author has used euphemism already we checked about euphemism in the poetry uh, uh, expressing any message in a subtle tone in a very soft manner in an indirect manner so instead of saying saying that uh, was about to die he he had conveyed the message the curtain of life fell okay that is what uh, euphemism so the next i remember i was lying on the stomach beside the pool vomiting the chap that threw me in was saying but i was only fooling he said that the boy who pushed him inside uh, said that he was only joking but the joke had turned into a, a serious one isn't it so when we have to when we mock others it has to be in a very subtle manner it shouldn't be very harsh someone um, said the kid nearly died be all right now uh, let's carry him to the locker room so they are taking him taking the author when he was a boy to the locker room where the where they changed the dress several hours later i walked home i was weak and trembling i shook and cried when i lay on my bed i could not eat that night for days a haunting fear was in my heart the slightest exertion upset me making me wobbly in the knees and the sick to my stomach i never went back to the pool i feared water i avoided it whenever i could these two paragraphs says that how he had a fear of for water and how he had how it had stuck in his mind strongly so we can see that immediately after the incident for a week he could not sleep properly he could not eat properly whenever he, uh, the the fear for water was haunting in his mind whenever that feel came in his mind he could not walk Uh, something was uh, some sickness was happening in his stomach all these difficulties he had faced so uh, so for uh, many years he never uh, thought of uh, going near the water that was the fear was in his mind a few years later when i came to know the waters of uh, cascades cascades i wanted to get into them and whenever i did whether i was wading in the titan or bumping river 
are bathing in warm lake warm lake of the goat rocks all these are the places in usa it's uh, it, it's a bit difficult for us to associate because we have not seen these places the terror that has seized me in the pool would come back whenever he visits these places the fear for water came back in his mind the stark terror came back came back in his mind it would take possession of me completely the fear will take his mind fully because uh, he he did not know how to overcome the fear my legs would become paralyzed i see horror would grab my heart all these troubles he had whenever he thought of the fear this sort of uh, feelings this sort of inability happened in us uh, in him this handicap stayed with me as the years rolled by in canoes on main lakes fishing for land log to salmon salmon is a type of fish um the feature of this fish is all the fish go along with water only this water this fish can uh, go against the water so salmon and uh, bass fishing in new hampshire bass fishing is uh, um a common term which is used for variety of fish uh, bass fishing in new hampshire trout fishing trout is again you can see this fish only in fresh water trout fishing on the deschutes and metuli is in oregon fishing for salmon on the columbia at bumping lake in the cascades wherever i went the hunting fear of the water followed me so again he shares lot of places like new hampshire and uh, deschutes and metuli is and uh, columbia at bumping lake in the cascades all these are the places which are new to us so wherever he went the fear was followed him very closely the fear followed him very closely so it ruined my fishing trips deprived me the joy of canoeing boating and swimming all these water sports he could not enjoy because he had the fear in his mind so i used to every way i knew to overcome this fear but it held me firmly in its grip finally one in uh, finally one october i decided to get an instructor and learn to swim i went to a pool and practiced five days a week an hour each day the instructor see um, now in this we should understand that uh, the narrator had the fear he wanted to overcome the fear he takes lot of efforts to overcome the fear as i told you in the beginning of the lesson when i was giving warm up activity when we have the fear we should take every possible step to overcome the fear if we are overcome we are going to conquer the fear okay so here he is taking every step to overcome the fear of water so uh, one october I decided to get an instructor and learn to swim. I went to a pool and practiced five days a week, an hour each day. The instructor put a belt around me. A rope attached to the belt went through a pulley that ran on an overhead cable. So see the effort that he has taken. So a a belt he had put a belt around him. The instructor and a rope was attached to the belt and it went through a pulley that ran. on an overhead cable so he held on the he held on to the end of the rope and we went back and forth back and forth across the pool hour after hour day after day week after week so whenever uh, the author was trying to swim across the pool from this side to that side that side to this side so this was going on whenever he went down the instructor would pull him would help him to Uh, come on the surface of water by with the help of pulley okay so this practice he was doing hour after hour day after day week after week so vigorous practice he was taking so on each trip across the pool a bit of the panic seized me whenever he went from this side to that side the panic came back to his mind each time the instructor relaxed his hold on the rope and i went under some of the old terror returned and my legs froze of course the terror came in his mind then he taught me to put my face under water and exhale and to raise my nose and inhale so inhaling and exhaling are the two breathing exercises a swimmer ought to know so the instructor told him to exhale when he is under the water 
when he came up to raise his nose and uh, raise his nose he has to inhale both the practices he was taking i repeated the exercise hundreds of times bit by bit i shed part of the panic that seized me when my head went under water so he was taking vigorous practice to overcome the fear next he held me at the side of the pool and had me kick with my legs next practice next exercise was to hold the side of the pool and to kick with his legs okay for weeks it just i did just that at first my legs refused to work but they gradually relaxed and finally i could command them so initially his legs did not cooperate to cooperate with them because it was taking command over a period of time when he started taking practice when he was practicing continuously now he could command his leg this was the practice this was the benefit he got because of the practice